This is Ollie Watkins. He has been defying all odds with Aston Villa this season. But will he be able to maintain this form and win the Premier League? So today, we will take Ollie Watkins and make him the best striker the world has ever seen. And we pick up Aston Villa's fairy tale story here in mid December 2023, and currently sitting top of the table, almost exactly the same as real life, where they're sitting third, but we have the same amount of points with Newcastle just in behind us and Man City down in third place. And Watkins is here training hard every single day. And you can see from the Conference League as well, we're sitting top of the Conference League, which means we have the knockouts coming up against Aberdeen very soon in this video. But for now, training hard, Watkins and Aston Villa get into their Premier League fixtures with Watkins having the aim of beating Haaland to the top goal scorer this season. But that means we got to score some goals and here we are with the Premier League action up against Sheffield United for our first game. Ollie Watkins looking to score some goals. Diaby here up front with him lays it into him here and Watkins bags his first goal of this video and a nice easy one to win the game here. Aston Villa won, Sheffield United won. Moving into Manchester United now and Watkins and Aston Villa are looking dangerous. Watkins running through, getting a shot past Onana and scoring the goal here, which is the winner in the 89th minute. But just as Watkins thought it was the winner and Villa thought they had won, Casemiro scores an equalizing goal one minute later, getting a draw and one point on the table. Now, the next three fixtures are going to be against Newcastle, Everton and Burnley. And here we are now against Burnley. A ball into the box there. Diaby smashing one home. Aston Villa taking the lead and winning that game 1-0 against Burnley, getting another three three points on the table as they cruise into the second half of the season. Watkins doing a slalom there, getting past the Everton defense and scoring a goal. And now Watkins laying it through to Diaby here, who cuts past the defender, has a shot and scores a goal as well, beating Everton here 2-0 and getting another three points on the table for Aston Villa. And it's looking really positive as we head into this Newcastle fixture. A sublime touch there from Ollie Watkins, setting up Diaby. These two are absolutely inseparable. And here we go, another chance for Watkins and it's a Reflected goal to make it a very, very nice victory for Aston Villa here. 2-1 against Newcastle. Watkins and Diaby scoring. As we look at the progress Watkins has made so far this season, plus four points throughout the season and getting eight goals in the Premier League, but nowhere near enough to keep up with Haaland at the moment. So we carry on now and the repeat fixture against Sheffield United and it's an easy goal here for Watkins and for Villa. And they're pushing through, trying to score as many goals as they can. Watkins for a second, he puts it in the bottom left corner and Villa are looking unstoppable at the moment there and it's Kamara with the last chance of the game making it 3-0 to Aston Villa and a really big victory here three points on the table once again keeping our place at the top of the table and we're back up against Manchester United as we head on into the second half of the season a, a bad tackle there on Watkins gives a storing chance here for Douglas Luiz and he puts the free kick in the back of the net making it 1-0 against Manchester United who have a man sent down a diving header from Ollie Watkins that sees Aston Villa beat Manchester United 2-1 one in this fixture. Aston Villa absolutely unstoppable at the moment. No one is getting past them as we come up against Fulham here at Craven Cottage and Watkins through once again the volley and the goal and another goal here and it's a 2-1 victory. Ramsey and Watkins scoring three points is just flying in every single game for Aston Villa and for Ollie Watkins. Another shot there, another goal against Nottingham Forest and another chance to get it to. There it goes in the top corner. Ollie Watkins looking unstoppable this season and he up for his first hat-trick of the season here to net one here against Forrest and he does his first hat-trick of the season and climbing the goal scoring table like a magician at the moment and another goal making it four to Ollie Watkins in this game scoring all four goals and winning four two for the team. Aston Villa as you can see here are currently sitting top of the table as we are 26 games in we are now into March of 2024 and we have got Aberdeen coming up in the conference league very very soon we're going to skip a couple of the Premier League games. As you can see here, Watkins up to 85 rated and needing to get in that top goal scoring place but the player from Aberdeen currently sitting top there with 8 and Watkins has only got 1 in the Conference League so far this season so he's going to work hard and try and get that goal tally up as much as he can. Now we're heading into that fixture against Aberdeen, the first fixture before we do the repeat fixture straight after this and here we go with Aston Villa looking to get forward, a youngster playing up front with him, a chance for Watkins to shoot and he does score. He makes it 1-1 
one on the score after Aberdeen took an early lead and it's going to be Watkins 1 Aberdeen 0 as the full time whistle blows and we head on into the second leg looking for a victory to progress us through in the conference league a chip through ball there to this young striker who puts one in the back of the net and scores a goal here making it 1-0 to Aston Villa 2-1 on aggregate can Villa pull through here and get through the conference league a chance here for Kamara on the edge of the box lays it through to that youngster once again and he puts it in the back of the net making it 2-0 to Aston Villa in this game and sealing the victory and getting them through in to the next round of the Europa Conference League. As the team prepares themselves for the rest of the Premier League season, they also have the FA Cup to face up against. And sitting top of the table is Haaland still for the top goal scorers. Watkins now just in behind him with 17 goals. Aston Villa sitting top of the table. Manchester City right on in behind them. The next two games are up against City and Wolves. And here we go against Wolves now with Watkins looking to get another goal to his tally. And he does, slotting it in the bottom left corner, gaining a 1-0 victory against Wolves. And now up against Haaland, up against Manchester City Diaby here with the chance and the goal making it 1-1 in this game after City take an early lead but unfortunately for Aston Villa we do lose and Haaland does score which is not what Watkins needs at this point in the season a bit disappointing as we head into the quarterfinals of the Conference League against Rangers still only two goals in the Conference League and he thinks to himself I need to get my goal tally up as much as possible and here we are now at home at Villa Park against Rangers can we get Watkins to burn on the style here. He gets taken out here for a penalty kick and it's going to be a chance in the 29th minute after going 1-0 down to Rangers. Can Watkins score? Can we get a goal? Yes, we can. A bottom corner finish here from Watkins getting his tally up just a little bit more. Little by little and the full-time whistle blows and Rangers actually win 2-1. So the reverse fixture now comes and that young striker's back in once again with a goal and making it 1-0 in this game. 2-2 on aggregate. Can Aston Villa pull this one back here? Ollie Watkins running through on goal to get a goal for himself in the Conference League. A left foot shot across goal. It's in the back of the net. 2-0 to Villa with Rangers having two red cards. Can Villa win this game? It looks like they can. They've grabbed the victory and they will be heading to the next round of the Conference League. Still not making it onto the goal scoring sheet at the moment but picking up man of the match here as we head on into the semi-finals of the FA Cup against Brentford where if we win we will be taking on Manchester City in the finals. Can we beat Brentford here? It's a huge game. It's at Wembley and another chance for a potential trophy. A ball into the box now to Watkins. Watkins lays it through perfectly to Leon Bailey. He scores a goal here, making it 1-0 to Villa in the 77th minute. And here we are in the 82nd minute now. And Watkins getting taken out by the Brentford defence who just cannot handle them. And it's going to be a chance to make it 2-1 in this game after Brentford did equalise. And there it goes in the top corner. But unfortunately for Aston Villa, it wasn't meant to be. And just long, not long after that, they did equalise Brentford and they made it 2-2 on the scoreline, which means we will be heading to penalties after extra time. Who is going to come out on top? Who will be going to the final? A shot there from Brentford, making it 1-0 on the penalty shootout so far. Now, Douglas Luiz stepping up, netting his penalty as well. Who is going to get the next one in? Can we hold? Can we make our way to the final here? Another goal scored by Wissa of Brentford. Can Aston Villa score their goal? Yes, they can. Looking strong, looking ready to go to the final. Both teams here fighting it out to the death. 120 minutes played in this game. Both teams are tired. Both teams looking to get to the final of the FA Cup. Bailey there with the chipped goal, making it 3-3 on the penalty scores. Can Brentford do it here? A great save from Martinez and a chance here for Ollie Watkins to score his penalty. Yes, he does. In the top right corner, it is 4 Three to Aston Villa. Can Martinez save this one and put them through to the final? No, not just yet. There's another penalty to go. If we score this one now, this will be it. This will send us to the finals of the FA Cup, our first potential final of the season. Stepping up, scoring the goal, and it's McGinn with the winning penalty. It's going to take us to the final against Manchester City, where we will play at Wembley Stadium for a chance to win our first piece of silverware this season. Now we head on in. As you can see, Watkins 85 rated, looking for top goal 
goal scorer as we take on Fenerbahce in the semi-finals of the Conference League. Another chance to get through to a final. If we can win against Fenerbahce here, we will be in the finals of the Conference League. Laying a ball through there to Diaby. Watkins and Diaby linking up so well in every game this season. And Diaby does get his goal. And Watkins now, after Fenerbahce did equalize, lays it through back to Diaby. The link-up play once again, and it's in the back of the net, making it 2-1 in this first leg and putting us in a very good advantage position to go into the second leg. 2-1 up. Diaby scoring both goals here against Fenerbahce. What does the second leg have to offer? Here is a chance for Watkins to make it 3-1 on aggregate. And there it goes. It's in the back of the net. Watkins there sealing what could be a game-winning goal, which might just send us to the final. And a penalty kick has been awarded to Villa. And Watkins steps up to take another one here to score a sixth goal in the Conference League. He does just that. And he shows everyone he means business this season. He wants to beat Haaland to the Premier League Cup goal scorers. And he gets a chance to score a hat-trick with another penalty there, putting it in the back of the net making it 3-1 to Aston Villa and sending them to the finals of the Conference League against AZ which will be coming up very soon now guys we have one more thing to worry about Watkins is now 87 rated he has 21 goals this season Haaland is just in front of him with 23 can he beat Haaland this season in the goal scoring tally of the Premier League and become the Premier League's top goal scorer and potentially help Aston Villa win we are into the final month of the season we are one point above Newcastle we have Liverpool Bournemouth and Crystal Palace left to play against in the Premier League what can we bring out can we get the victory can Aston Villa win the Premier League the two games now coming up one against Liverpool one against Bournemouth and here is the game against Liverpool the ball in the box there and a near post header from Watkins opening the scoring here making it 1-1 one, one on the score 1-0 uh, on the score scoreline to Aston Villa and they're well on their way to a victory here against Liverpool as he pushed through with another chance down the left wing here. Looks to get a ball into the box. Cuts inside with a beautiful chop and it's just about hit the back of the net. Analyze. Look at that. It's 2-2 on the scoreline. And Liverpool did actually take the lead and we scored a last minute equaliser which gives us one point on the board as we struggle our way to the finish line. Hopefully a victory against Bournemouth which is coming up and a couple of goals for Watkins might just see everything coming together as it should. A chance here for Watkins as he goes through in a near post finish against Bournemouth just before half time and Watkins gets another goal to his tally he is catching right up behind Haaland and here he goes with a penalty kick to put this one in the back of the net for his second goal of the game a nice easy penalty finish and the game finishes 2-0 with Watkins scoring two goals now guys the final game of the season Aston Villa are up against Crystal Palace we are two points ahead of Newcastle a victory here will see us winning the Premier League title and Haaland there two goals ahead which means if Watkins wants to become the top goal scorer in this career in this season he has to score at least two goals and maybe a hat trick if he can pull it out of the bag against Villa it is possible and if we do win the game which we need to do we will win the Premier League with Aston Villa and Ollie Watkins it may just become the Premier League's top goal scorer and here we go now Watkins with a chance going through here cuts inside but it's a selfish play gets past so many players shoots at the bottom corner and it's in the back of the net making it 1-0 against Crystal Palace he is now only one goal behind Haaland as he pushes through with another chance Drawing level with Haaland on the scoreboard. And he has every chance to score a hat-trick and become the Premier League's top goal scorer. Diaby getting through himself here and putting one in the back of the net. He says, if you're going to get some, I'm going to get some too. And Diaby scoring his own goal, but Watkins needed this. And he took his chances as much as he could. Throw on goal, putting it in the back of the net and scoring a hat-trick here in the final game of the season against Crystal Palace. And he does it. He finishes top goal scorer in the Premier League. He grabs a hat trick and Aston Villa win the Premier League in this first season after doing so well halfway through the season in real life. Here we are with Ollie Watkins and Aston Villa winning the Premier League for the first time and they are celebrating. They are loving every single minute of it, but the season isn't over yet and we have more to play for. Ollie Watkins here arriving at the player of the season is he going to win player of the season for the Premier League? Yes, he is. Your man, Ollie Watkins, picks up the player of the season after playing so well for the title-winning team up front. And there you can see top goal scorer, 27 goals, 38 matches played in the Premier League. And what a season it has been. Five assists as well. 
Ollie Watkins doing what he needs to do here for Aston Villa. And now we come up into our final, our second final game of this series, guys. And it's going to be Manchester City against Aston Villa in the final of the FA Cup. Have they got another trophy in them? They've got a chance here to win two trophies. And if they do this, they could go on and win the Europa Conference League as well. Here we go, getting it underway now. Ramsey the length through to Watkins. Watkins on the ball, looks to lay it square, takes a shot instead, and it's in. It is 1-0, and the confidence is oozing out of the player of the season. Can he get another goal? The top scorer in the Premier League, the player of the season in the Premier League, getting thrown goal once again, laying it short there to Diaby, and these two are linking up so, so well. Can he get another goal? To seal the victory here for Aston Villa, it's in the back of the net to make it 3-1 in 30 minutes, and that is a FA Cup victory for Aston Villa after... City just tried to pull one back to 3-2. It wasn't enough, and we do end up winning the FA Cup as well. Aston Villa taking home two trophies this season and the opportunity to get one more as well. Martinez there, the captain, lifting the FA Cup alongside Watkins. Watkins doing his job, scoring the goals and winning the FA Cup with Aston Villa. We have every chance now to do the treble, do a different kind of treble, and Watkins in second place behind Aberdeen's top goal scorer at four the Conference League with eight goals. We're up against AZ. Can he score one or two goals in this game and take the top goal scoring for this as well? He's already the top goal scorer in the FA Cup as well. So he will be top goal scorer in all three competitions if we can get it here. And what a start it is. Look at that for a finish. Watkins there scoring the goal, making it 1-1 after AZ took an early lead in the 30th minute. And here we go with Aston Villa on the ball. Watkins running through on goal, takes it round his man so nicely, gets through on goal, does a couple of step overs and puts it in the bottom corner just like that, making it 2-1 to Aston Villa. And guys, it's just on fire. Watkins is unstoppable. Cuts inside, lays it short there to Bailey and Bailey scores as well. And at this point, Aston Villa will be winning the Conference League and Watkins will be finishing top of the goal scorers for the Conference League as well. Doing everything possible this season. This team has achieved it. Watkins has achieved it and they've come out on top in every single competition they have been a part of except for the Carabao Cup but what a season it has been winning the Conference League as well winning the Premier League and the FA Cup so much has been won this season and the celebrations are amazing here Aston Villa taking home three trophies and celebrating every single day all night long guys but there was one thing left there was one thing that the individual award, oh, he already won the player of the season. Can he also be in contention for a Ballon d'Or? Ollie Watkins to win the Ballon d'Or, guys. And we get to the start of the next season in the Premier League season. Halfway through that, the awards get announced. And here is the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Does Ollie Watkins' name gets called alongside Hallan and Vinicius Jr.? It's going to be Ollie Watkins to win the Ballon d'Or. What a season and what an amazing career this man has ahead of him. Ollie Watkins there winning the Ballon d'Or, the Aston Villa player, the England striker. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. I love to see the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see more and who you want to see me doing them with. That's it from me for now. I will see you guys all in future videos and future episodes. Please, please, once again, give us a like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all later.